at the first steps in building a Stereo Pi kit. Take a Stereo Pi board and start by installing the Raspberry Pi compute model. Install the model at an angle of about 45 degrees to the board and snap it tightly into the connector. If you perform this step correctly, the compute model maintains its position. After that, push it slightly until it clicks and you'll have a correctly installed compute model. What mistakes you can make at this step? Number one, you can install the model not at an angle, but horizontally. In this case, it can still be installed into the connector and even clicked in, but you'll see strongly protruding contacts and the model can be easily snapped out of the connector with just a slight movement. The second mistake is when you install it at a 45 degree angle, but tilt it to one side. In this case, the model can still be clicked in, but you'll see strongly protruding contacts on different heights. That's an incorrect installation. So you install the compute model correctly, and that's it for the first step. The next step is to install a microSD card. Here's the microSD slot. Insert a card into it with its upper side facing the compute model. Push it until it clicks in and bobs your uncle. That's it for the first step. The next step is connecting the cameras. The most common mistake users make is installing the camera cables wrong side up. You need to remember a simple rule. The cameras are literally in love with the GPIO connectors. Therefore, the cable's metal contacts have to face the GPIO pins. You gently pull out the black lock from the camera connector a little bit, put the cable in with its contact facing the GPIO, and then gently snap the lock back in. Here is a properly connected camera. And here is an example of an incorrectly installed camera. If you violate the rule of the cable's laugh for GPIO by turning the camera backwards, with the blue protective film facing the GPIO, you can install the camera this way, but it won't work. So here is an example of an incorrectly installed camera. So let's fix this mistake and connect it with the proper side up, that is with the contacts facing the GPIO connector. That's it, the assembly is finished and you can carry out the first tests. The last step you need to do is plug in the power cord. It has this white connector that plugs into the respective connector on the stereo pie board. If you plug it in now, the device will start working. You may have noticed that there is a micro USB connector on the stereo pie. If you've worked with regular Raspberry Pis before, you might feel compelled to power up the device for the micro USB connector. You should know that if you do that, the Stereo Pi will boot, but it will turn into a special mode for uploading Linux into compute models built in memory, the so called eMMC, if it's equipped with one. So, when connected like this, the device boot up in a special mode while also disabling the network connector and USB. Therefore, for the first boot, please use the included power cable. Ok, let's go for the first boot of StoryPy with the Raspbian SLP image. But first, a very important note. This image is not designed to work with a keyboard and mouse, so don't even consider those. This image was created so that you can repeat our experiments with streaming video to a mobile phone, to YouTube, to a desktop computer or to an Oculus Go or Oculus Quest virtual reality headset. Access to the device and settings configuration are done over the network, for example over Wi-Fi. I assume that you have already checked our wiki and configured the settings for your access point on the microSD card. In order for the stereo pipe to access the network, you need to either use the Wi-Fi model or connect it to your network with an Ethernet cable. Let's use the Wi-Fi model in our case. For the first boot, as a test, you can connect an external monitor. Let's do that. 
Now that you've connected the monitor, turn the power on. The loading process is displayed on the screen. There are not too many messages and our logo is displayed. When that's done, if everything is connected correctly, you will see the streams from both cameras on the screen. Here they are. If one or both cameras are connected incorrectly, let's disconnect both cameras for the sake of example. And you power up the stereo Pi with Raspberry SLP, then you will see a white splash screen instead of the camera streams. Let's see how it looks. If you see such a picture, the only reason is that your cameras are either not connected to the stereo Pi at all, or they are connected incorrectly. For example, the cables are plugged in the wrong side up. To correct the situation, check that you are connected the cameras correctly. After the stereo Pi has booted and connected to your network, you can open the administration panel to change settings or to repeat any of the video streaming experience from our crowdfunding page. For example, let's turn on video streaming into a browser. Tick the checkbox, click save, and wait for the system to apply the settings. This may take several seconds. Then you can refresh the page and you will see the stream from the cameras. Remember that instead of streaming to a browser on a computer, you can stream to a browser on a smartphone or to our Android application or to Oculus Go app. If you have already read our instructions for connecting tiny TFT screens to the stereo Pi, you can use such a screen instead of an external monitor to understand what's happening on board the stereo Pi. Connect the screen and turn the power on. By default, the screen is configured to duplicate what is being output to the HDMI port. That is, you can see the boot process, and after the boot process completes, you can see the streams from the two cameras. Here, as an example, I connected the TFT screen directly to the GPIO connectors to show how it works. Naturally, in final assemblies, it would be more convenient to connect it with some wires and place it on the back of the case so that it doesn't interfere with the camera connections and get a convenient compact assembly with the screen.